So hi, today I want to show you how you can use GPT Engineer to build a small crypto asset tracker that will allow you to search for assets. You'll be able to favorite them and store them in a favorites list and also click on an asset and look at the details, including the historical price progression. All of this without writing a single line of code. You can publish the app uh, into um, a website that you can share and everything will be backed by a GitHub repository in case you are a coder or you have a friend that is a coder that can help you sort of build this um, further. And my first prompt is going to be, um, yeah, build a crypto tracker app, use CoinCap API. I know CoinCap doesn't have an API key and uh, so I'm just going to go ahead and suggest that um, API endpoint. So uh, two things we've really been pushing and focusing on for the past weeks. One is speed. The product should feel more snappy now. We've been doing some re-architecture um, to ensure that. And the second thing is uh, we're uh, less afraid about being very transparent about what's going on under the hood. So you'll see that now we are back to streaming code in the chat for you to really understand exactly what's happening. I have a first version. As you can see, that was pretty snappy. We're one minute in. I'm going to tell it to... Um, add a theme, make it look super hacker uh, line. See what it puts together. And here we have a theme. Looks pretty good. Looks a bit like a Bloomberg terminal, which is interesting. Um, and I should also be uh, able to search, which is nice. Cool. I'm going to go ahead and add uh, a nav bar next. And I'm going to um, uh, make it sticky. Um, so here we go, we have a nav bar. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna remove this uh, crypto, um, remove crypto tracker h1 from index.js uh, since I already have it duplicated up here in the nav bar. Um, I think it looks a bit uh, funky. And you see that changes now should feel really like an editor. You see how, how quickly that was. We see the, this being uh, duplicated. I'm gonna fix this. It seems to be duplicated. I think that has been fixed. Next, let's make a details page. Add a, a details page per asset and display information um, about the asset. Also description of the asset graph with historical price. And well, this kicks off Something that I think really makes our tool uh, very interesting is that you can actually add as many pages as you want. You're not limited to um, only one file. Um, you can really just build a, f a fully fledged application. And this is something I think is quite different from other alternatives like artifacts, which really limits you to one file. Um, it's more meant to be as a th throwaway prototype sort of environment. Um, okay, cool. So here we see the yeah, the details page. I think it looks pretty nice. We have a little historical price. We have some basic information. Um, next up, I think I'm going to add the favorites uh, functionality. Add a favorites functionality. Users should be able to do this both via the main page and details page. And make sure you show action via toaster. Um, okay, cool. Now we have, um, hopefully, uh, the capability of uh, favoriting. So here you go. And if I'm going to move my little screen here, you'll see that we get a nice little toaster here that confirms that we've actually favorited something. And hopefully, if I go to, yeah, you see it's, it's sort of um, reflected. What I forgot to ask it is to also um, create a favorites page and use local storage storage to save uh, the list. So I don't have a backend here, so I'm just going to rely on the sort of built-in uh, local storage of the browser to uh, remember what has been saved um, to uh, memory and what hasn't. It seems like it's ready. We have a favorites page here. It remembers the assets I did before. I'm going to add a couple more just to show you that it's actually worked. And uh, I think that's it. I'm pretty happy 
with uh, my app. We've done this in eight minutes. Awesome. I think I'm going to wrap it up. Thank you so much for your time. And uh, if you want to, you know, check out our product, let me know. And I'm happy to give you uh, a demo and to maybe onboard you um, to it. Have a good one.